How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another video. I know it's been a while. You know, don't fault me for that. I get it. So basically, what I wanted to talk about was arcade stick. You want to call them tops, ball tops, back tops, bullet tops. But there's it's so much more like I don't know. Like it's not that simple to just say that. And what I mean by that is, if you look at the picture in front of you, this is basically what I have in front of me and what I own. You have your standard ball top, the green one. You have a metallic or metal um, ball top, which is the chrome one on the top. And then you have the blue one right there, which if you don't, if I mean, if you can't tell, let me show you real quick. Here's the standard one right here, obviously how small it is. Here's the blue one I had next to it. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but one's particularly bigger than the other and it does feel you can tell it's in your hand with this one um we'll talk about them in a minute but you know if you keep going through it we have a, a bat top and we have a more wider bat top and then on the end we have i guess a thicker bat top if you want to call it and underneath that we have a bullet top uh mind you i've tried all of these things out i've never liked ball top um i thought at first trying a bigger one which is this blue one right here would kind of change my mind and it did at first. Um, it's like I said, it's bigger than a standard ball top, which it's it's okay if you're that kind of person who likes ball tops. I mean, it just wasn't. It, it was okay at first. But then I just stopped liking it. Um, then I switched to bat tops, which is what I was used to back in the day when I was a kid and played in arcades. You know, Street Fighter and whatever else, uh, Vampire Savior or Dark Stalkers, whatever you want to call them. All of those had bat tops. Um, basically. I'm going to show you guys different, I don't know, different variations of what you can buy. This is basically the standard one. It usually comes on any type of arcade stick, typically. Um, I guess the Japanese mostly have them. The Japanese lovers mostly have those on there. Um, this one, if I'm not mistaken, it came off of a um, Quan Obsidian. They usually have this silver one on here. This is just an extra one I had. It's the same size as the standard one. So I guess if you're, you know what I mean? If you're looking for something different trap. Uh, now something like this, this is this is something I got off Amazon. It's bigger than your standard uh, ball top, and like I said, I wanted to try it just to try something different. It was fine for a while, and then I still kind of I need something with more more range on it instead of it just being because when I gripped it, it would literally be like right here on me when I gripped it like this, and I need something that goes up a little bit higher. So also just so you know, at the end of the video, I'm gonna have links to some of these things. But yeah, here's that one. Um, now this one's just your standard bat top. Like you can find this, this one I found, I got on Amazon. Um, it's just a regular standard one. Now, if you look next to the red one, this one is not a standard bat top. It actually has a bigger hole to it. I don't know if, obviously you guys can't see that, but so basically what it needs right here is it needs a washer, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. It basically screws in. So you screw this part onto your lever then this part goes over it or you can you know softly screw in one and then this one goes over it and if you tighten it enough this will get stuck in there now if i'm not mistaken it was a, a manufacturer defect if i'm not mistaken what i read right so this one right here won't fit on a standard japanese one it's this is too small and this hole is too wide so that's the difference between it so if you ever see usually in pictures it'll have this and then it'll have the washer next to it to let you know that hey this one needs a washer um but if you look at the two this one kind of it goes slightly wider as it goes up while this one starts out very thin and then goes up and gets wider now the reason i have this one here is because this one it's almost the same as this one except if you notice it kind of starts out wide and it slightly slightly gets wider as it goes up this one, if I'm not mistaken, I got it uh, from a friend of mine, and I believe he said he got it from Arcade Shock. But this one's a standard size one too; doesn't need a like a wash or anything like that. And now for the last one, which to be honest, I've been using bullet tops for like I'd say maybe close to a month. This one's just a clear one I bought once again off Amazon, and I love it. But it it actually goes up to here when I'm playing, so when I'm grabbing it, it actually fits my hand like that which i prefer it like that so i put bullet tops on most of my sticks to be honest <clears throat> but aside from that i wanted to show you guys some stuff so let me move this out of the way real quick 
so if you look on here like there there are so many options to choose from if you notice some of these are like your standard ball tops but they have rubber on them that was something i didn't even know was the thing um you keep going down you have your aluminum ones too which i'm guessing it has more of like a a texture to it as opposed to the regular chrome one that's real like flat and shiny if that makes sense um once again more aluminum ones look and you even have a mesh ball top that's that's insane i'm, I'm not a fan of ball tops so i don't plan on trying these unless i'm able to just kind of get one like locally at like a really low price for some reason but i wouldn't waste my time ordering one especially not ten dollars for something like this and i'm pretty sure this goes for somebody who just wants like i guess more grip if that makes sense like we're just looking for more grip basically and they have a lot of options they have clear if that's your thing you know what i mean like a bunch of stuff even mix of colors uh your flag on there mesh once again <clears throat> excuse me even wood but i just wanted to go into that and just so you know i make these videos for people who are more i guess like who are newer to arcade sticks and things like that because i know not everybody gets into that type of thing and me i don't want to assume what someone knows and doesn't know so i just put it out there um so i will be leaving if you look at the top right here i have links to every single thing i showed on here except for if i'm not mistaken the uh, the chrome one and the green standard one because those you can type ball uh, ball top on amazon and you'll get a million of them that pop up but only the excuse me only specifically the bullet top and the bigger ball top are made like from another brand of something so those will be linked at the bottom um yes yes yeah and uh the only difference i had on here was that on one of my other bat tops that are like this which is a standard one or this one actually sorry the blue one like this the bigger blue one comes in a pack of you know five four fourteen dollars which in my opinion isn't bad so you know you can get your different colors of variety you can also buy these single and um by the way i'm not sponsored by these things or anything i'm just explaining to you what i recommend if you want some variety on the cheaper side um once again you get a pack of you know five for almost 20 bucks but that's not bad especially you get your color changes things like that because i don't know about you guys but i like to change it up on my sticks you know i like to make it match or anything like that but um and the last one if i'm not mistaken is a yeah the bullet top you can get them for 15 bucks different colors sometimes they're out sometimes they come back in stock i usually check on them every now and then and they'll be back in stock um as far as right now i've had the clear one i have a red one a green one and a blue one um i don't have sticks that match with anything else so i just have those for right now but yeah if you're looking for something because the reason why i'm recommending these things as opposed to ordering from a bigger site is because i explained to someone before we were talking about um how do I say, uh, gates we we're talking about an octagon gate and i'm like on amazon you can get one for like three to four bucks and it's free shipping if you have amazon prime as opposed to getting one from like i guess maybe certain shops that online that sell them for like five bucks just for the gate and then you have to do shipping on top of that or like there's some that's like oh it's 25 dollars and you get free shipping so instead of doing that why not pay something you know for cheaper and you can get it faster um that's basically why i'm doing this and also just having an opinion about you know what people prefer as far as the grip goes because i mean i have i have pretty big hands like i'm not gonna lie to you like i can it, it's a pretty big hand so having a little ball top just didn't work out having even the bigger ball top didn't work out and the bat tops are fine it just i need something that felt better like all the grip i had on a ball top i mean on a bat top was basically up here like i felt up here and then down here obviously you can still grab it like this but to me it just didn't feel as good as something that was like i guess a better straight wise something like this like it just looked very good and it felt good too i have like i said i have those on most of my most of my sticks um but that's basically it i just want to talk to you guys about that and maybe share some of the things i've come to know as far as me getting into modding and changing out stuff on my sticks and to be completely honest if you're someone who's on one of these if you're on a hitbox this video doesn't concern you but me honest with you because obviously the grip has nothing to do with it um but yeah guys that was just a short video i just wanted to put out there 
Uh, as usual, I appreciate you, whoever you watches. I'll be sure to put these links in the description. So if you want, if you're looking for one of these, go ahead and check them out. Um, there's always a better deal out there for something that you want to do. You just got to find it. Um, but that's the video, guys. As usual, like I said, I appreciate whoever watches. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to try my best to post more on this channel. I know lately it's kind of been off and on, but to be honest, I'm going to be posting more on YouTube in general. I have another channel where I post streams and like clips from my Twitch and stuff like that. And on here, I try to keep it strictly just, you know, fighting game community stuff or fighting game stuff in general, as far as modding tips and things like that. And like I said, if you know it and you know about this stuff already, awesome. If you don't, that's even better because I mean, I'm new when it comes to sticks and modding and owning and stuff like that and wanting to change stuff out and make it better. So we'll definitely progress together through it. And like I said, if you already knew this stuff and you have a better recommendation, leave it in the comments. I'm sure somebody else will read it and they'll appreciate it. But that's kind of it for the video, guys. Like I said, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, see you guys soon, hopefully. Until next time.